Okay, today we're going to talk about Bastion hosts in VPC. So, pretty standard setup. You have a VPC, it's got some public subnets, some private subnets. If you've got a host in a public subnet, it's obviously very straightforward to connect to that. Uh, it's got a public IP address. You can just set the security group rules to allow you to directly SSH into it. But if you have an instance in a private subnet, it's not so obvious how you can connect to that. It doesn't have a public IP address. Uh, it only has outbound internet access, so you can't directly SSH into it. Standard approach uh, would be to have an instance that is in a public subnet uh, called a bastion host that you would use to SSH to. And from that, you can then SSH into the private subnet. You can create an SSH config that makes this all pretty seamless. Um, essentially, from a command line point of view, make it look as though you're SSHing directly to the instance in the private subnet, but actually you're going by the, the Bastion host. AWS does have some other options for you though. Uh, so EC2 Instance Connect is one of them. It essentially acts like a managed Bastion host for you. Uh, the advantage of this is you don't have to worry about updating the Bastion instance as you would normally with a traditional Bastion instance because it's fully managed. Um, it's the EC2 Instance Connect endpoint. And that essentially uh, has an ENI in your private subnet and that lets you connect via the EIC agent that you run on your machine and log in that way. The approach actually I would suggest um, is using SSM Session Manager. So Session Manager isn't SSH, it actually replaces SSH. Uh, it allows you to connect directly from the AWS CLI to your instance. It provides a command line interface that is essentially exactly the same as SSH, but it isn't using the SSH protocol. The big advantage is that all the authentication is done by IAM. It's not using SSH keys, which are obviously uh, more difficult to maintain and to distribute. You can use your standard IAM credentials. Um, if you're using um, single sign-on, then that can come from your source of single sign-on truth, perhaps Active Directory or something like that. So this is really powerful and absolutely the way both I would suggest you do it and also the way in the AWS exams, they will suggest um, this as the, the best approach as well. The other thing you can do with SSM Session Manager that's really powerful is you can actually forward ports um, to another instance. So essentially going via an EC2 instance within your infrastructure, you can then use that to connect to, for example, an IDS instance that is in your uh, private subnets. So you can then connect to MySQL from your desktop machine. Until next time, enjoy the cloud.